And I would like to, again, to speak, speaking from the perspective of our movement, which is a pan-European movement, it's so crucial to unite progressives that are in favor of remain and in favor of leave. Mm. This toxicity has to end. And we can do this. So what do progressive people in Germany, in France, USA, Greece, Spain, wherever, they're actually saying much the same thing. You cannot go on diminishing the role of the public service of the state without paying a price in poverty, inequality, and without paying a price with people's lives being wasted. And so surely it has to be the question of what the community as a whole does in provision of housing security, health security, education security, and invests in, uh, in our future, invests in the infrastructure you need, the technology you need, and the um, development of new manufacturing processes. We can't run the whole world just on service economy. Absolutely. But in order to bring together the progressives from Germany, from the United States, from Mexico, from Italy, from Greece, from Britain, we need to create a political infrastructure, a movement that actually yeah. does that, not simply inviting each other to have a little chats and going to confer each other's conferences. But you see, the bankers are internationalists. Yeah. They are completely united. They have a bankers internationale. The fascists are increasingly united. Steve Bannon is in Europe organizing the neo-fascist international between Salvini, Orban, uh, the Polish government, the Kurds government in Austria. Um, I'm sure he's operating here. He even had a meeting with Boris Johnson. I don't know why he did that, but anyway, he did. Um, we need a progressive international by which to counter them. And we need to create, we, we need to go beyond the Brexit debate. Because even if Brexit happens, even if hard Brexit happens, there is nothing stopping us if we are coordinated. To have, for instance, you're going, and I'm very pleased to see that in your, I was very pleased to read this in your manifesto, you're going to create a new public investment bank, a national yeah. investment bank. Well, there's nothing stopping your new national investment bank and the European investment bank collaborating, issuing bonds together in order to create a fund for large-scale investments in, in green transition technologies that would create good quality jobs, and the Bank of England on the one hand, and the European Central Bank on the other, also collaborating in order to, to be standing by in the financial markets to purchase those bonds to make sure that the interest rates and the cost of borrowing for the green transition new deal for, for Europe, indeed, for North America as well. The whole point behind the National Investment Bank is that we lever in other investment as well in order to improve infrastructure and deal with the massive inequalities across the UK between English regions, between Scotland and the rest, between Wales and the rest, Northern Ireland, uh, and so on. And uh, unless we do that, then what, what do we continue doing? That's right. Having badly paid people working on zero hours contracts and you have a sort of sport direct as the model of employment or do you have something very much better and very different? And uh, I don't pretend any of this is gonna be easy to do, but I want our government, a Labour government, to be measured against the re reduction in poverty measured against reductions in um, homelessness, measured in reductions in uh, the number of people dropping out of school, university, and so on, and about improving people's lives, improving the quality of our environment and the quality of our lives. At the moment, we have this claim that there's high levels of employment in Britain. The reality is there's been frozen wages for 10 years mm -hmm. and the quality of employment for many people is falling. I spent part of this afternoon talking to a group of people in Glasgow who are working in the hospital sector on zero hours contracts and they have this absolute fear of the phone ringing they demanded to come in that day and they have ill the child's sick all the sort of stuff that happens to all of us every day means they can't go in they then get written out completely and they've lost even the chance of working on a zero hours contract that is inhuman absolutely. that means their whole life is dominated by waiting for the phone to ring. is the phone going to ring is it going to ring yeah. That's just wrong. And so that kind of employment practice has got to end. And we are absolutely determined to do it, which is why we would go further than a lot of European rules on employment rights. From day one, full rights at work. That'd be a good start. Absolutely. And at the same time as the zero hour, hour contract uh, uberized environment that you just yeah. described, in this country, you have about 850 billion pounds 
sitting idly in the city of London, beating up asset prices and house prices in the south of England, and not doing anything, anything productive. Your yeah. na National Investment Bank would be able, especially if it's coordinated with similar public investment banks in Europe, to soak up that liquidity by issuing bonds and putting it directly into the creation of good quality jobs in the green transition and and sector. And good quality housing, because the moment the housing investment, actually some of which goes into building luxury apartments in London and the southeast that are sold off plan, are used as a cash machine for those that have bought them, and sometimes they're bought and sold before they're even built, bought and sold several times before they're built. In the meantime, uh, the housing waiting lists are at record level all over the rest of the country for council housing or housing association properties. And so there has to be a change to the regional imbalance in England as well as between the nations, and there has to be investment in secure housing. Insecure housing has a very bad effect on children, particularly, a very bad effect on people's lives, and also it's very expensive. So people are paying more to live in insecurity. That can't be right. 